A Goose Creek ISD parent says her son was bullied and that led to a physical fight on campus. And this happened at Ross Sterling High in Baytown and that's where we find our Brittany Ford. So Brittany, the student's mother believes this could have been prevented. Well, this student mother, this student's mom, says she reported concerns, bullying concerns to the school prior to this fight happening. Concerns she says the school did nothing about. It's pretty much bullying. Cell phone video inside Ross Sterling High School captures a brawl breaking out between a group of students. I'm very disappointed. I'm angered. I have been losing sleep because my son was attacked. The video doesn't show the moments leading up to the fight, but the student you see in the bright colored sweatshirt is Selena Charles's 16 year old son. We've blurred the faces of the other students in the video, which does not have audio because they are minors. Charles says her son was forced to defend himself. I feel like the principal dropped the bomb and also the security guard. She says her son, who has dyslexia, has been repeatedly bullied. Concerned she brought to the principal last week. He told me he would talk to him first thing Monday morning. And I feel like if he would have talked to them, none of that would have never happened. She's now taken on the help of civil rights activist Quanell X, who claims the school has a history of gang related concerns. They told us this is not the first kid this year that this has happened to on this campus where the gang wants to jump somebody in and force them to be a part of it. Goose ISD sent this statement saying the incident was a mutual fight between students and that there is no indication at this time of any bullying or gang related motive behind the altercation. Charles says she's looking to take some sort of legal action. But I can say I do want to file charges. Now, the district says all of the students involved were disciplined according to Goose ISD's student code of conduct. Reporting in Baytown this evening, Brittany Ford, KHOU 11 News. All right, Brittany, thank you.